Hi, right, welcome to True Flows. Um, this is going to be a more serious topic. And, um, of course, I have a black atmosphere around me because uh, Memorial Day is coming up. Now, I think back about my brother. My brother died at the age of 11 years old due to AIDS and pneumonia. Um, this was 1987, November, so about 33 years ago. I miss him. I miss him terribly. Um, he had mild symptoms of autism, some syndrome, and he was blind. I miss my other brother, Adrian, who died three months before I even was born. So, um, Half of my family's gone. My dad died. I don't miss him. As heartless as I may be, the man made his bed. He was almost 60 years old. He had diabetes, I think type 2. And he drank a lot, and he smoked a lot, and he never exercised. Um, my sister committed suicide. We'll go in more into that at the age of 41. Now, true force loneliness is primarily about not getting laid, not getting females. Some of you might be on Twitch following Twitch dots. No, no, no. As that one guy said, no, 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 right? Don't be doing that, okay? I don't, like, I don't mind watching a couple of minutes of these Twitch thoughts. Um, you could argue and say Destiny FOMO or Pink Sparkles. I think Destiny FOMO has, she has a, her own website for her special features. And then um, you got uh, Sweet Anita. You got people, you got females who just sit there, okay? Pink Sparkles where it tries on lingerie, and then she tries to act objective, like she's not sexual. But aside from that, what makes us alone isn't so much that we can't get dates. It's not having any peers. Now, this is, this is not a very long video. I want to ask you all a question, okay? I've lost half of my family. I never had friends, never had friends going through the ages. But I'm wondering, now Memorial Day is about honoring those who served, those in the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, Peace Corps, National Guard, uh, SWAT teams, uh, we'll even say those in paramedics, firefighters, police, okay? Those who serve. We'll even throw in the people who work in the supermarkets and the hospitals. But I tend to think of Memorial Day as remembering those who died, and especially those who died unfairly at a young age. Like Paul Walker, uh, the people who died in 9-11, September 11th, the people who died in March 11th in Japan, people who have died to the coronavirus, people who have died like my brother, died too young. People who died to suicide, Margot Kidder. Um, uh, Zombie Boy, which I aired in saying that maybe he died of suicide. He probably died as an accident. Some people die accidentally. Um, who else? Uh, the guy who, uh, Lincoln Park, the guy, the lead singer. Chester Pennington, he committed suicide. I'm wondering, for those of you who are TFL, yes, we're always going to have problems getting dates. That's going to be the thing. But on this Memorial Day, I want you to think of the people you lost. Is there anyone, and I mean anyone, who lost someone? And because you lost someone, it could be a brother, it could be a cousin, it could be a best friend. Maybe it was a girl you dated and she died. Maybe you were... Maybe you did have a girlfriend when you were in middle school, and now because she had a heart attack or she had AIDS, she had cancer. Somebody that was close to you, could be a parent, could be a guardian, could be an aunt, could be an uncle, could be a grandparent. And that was the one person that you really bonded with. You had such a great relationship with, great rapport, great, great times. Drinking, smoking, I don't know if you drink and smoke with your grandparents. Those are some grandparents. I never responded like that. All my family acted like a bunch of hypocritical prudes. 
but is there somebody or some people in your life that you lost? They died too young. They died, they were murdered. They died of, of a horrible disease. They took their own lives. And maybe there, you wish you could have done something more. You could have been there for them. Is part of the reason or is the main reason your TFL is because the person in your life or people are gone? And this Memorial Day, which is coming up in a week, I want you to think about that. I want you to reflect on that. I want you to reflect on those people that are gone. I think if my brother had still been alive, I don't know if my mom would have had a bigger influence on him to, to kind of be the mama's boy. Because the, the syndromes that I think that my brother had, my mom told me once that my brother couldn't tell pre, between right and wrong. Um, you wouldn't have that problem unless you had autism or some sort of syndrome and he couldn't see. I think my mom would have called him. I think we would have continued to fight. But I think at some point, one of us would have to see past ourselves and say, look, we can continue fighting each other or we can work together. My other brother, Adrian, I don't know. My cousin Gabriel died. Um, we never got along. He hated, he, he, um, let him so he, he slowly committed suicide through uh, maltreatment of his AIDS uh, problem. My uncle died of a heart attack, good riddance, because the man was a wife beater and he beat up my aunt. He didn't give a shit. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about all the people that you you loved, the people that you were with, the people that you are that you shared good times with, and now because of whatever reason they're dead, they're gone. That's what Memorial Day really is to me. It's remembering the people who unfairly died, the people who didn't live to be uh, Kirk Douglas's age, or um, the people who didn't live to be as long as Jerry Stiller or Little Richard. Little Richard, Jerry Stiller, um, two good, you know, great performers, one musician, one comedian, and they were great people, and maybe it was their time to go. Um, people don't like Kirk Douglas because of what he did to Natalie Wood. Well, man's dead, so he's paid his dues. But he still lived a long time. So um, most people die at, some people die at 20, some people die at 30, some people die at 40. You know, as, as uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson would say, some people die worse than terrorist attacks on Twitter, and people get mad at him. But um, maybe you lost somebody now due to the COVID. So I want you to reflect on that. Uh, write something in the comments section. Be respectful. Don't troll. I know who you, you know who you are. Yes. So um, I'll talk to you all soon. Um, I'll probably do a video on uh, a couple more videos and then a Pac-Man two-part Pac-Man video for the 40th anniversary. I might do a Sega anniversary video soon uh, for June, but. Uh, my birthday's coming up. I'll turn 42. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully my, my Memorial Day doesn't come before then. All right. Peace.